Let's go and read. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to bring in you guys my April book haul. All the books I've managed to accumulate during the month of April, whether it's review books from charity shops, that sort of thing. So I'll start off with the ones I got for free. This first one was going to end up going either in the skip or to a charity shop and this is Visions of the Universe, the latest discoveries in space revealed by Dr. Raman Prinja. So yeah, I pretty much snagged it up because I saved it from going into a skip and I was like, no, I will have this. So I love space, love things about space and totally, totally. This book was full price at 20 quid and I was just like, no, cannot get rid of that. So I was just like, yep, yeah, it has to be saved. So that's why I got it. It's pretty and yeah, hopefully, hopefully I do enjoy it. Next of all, I've got a couple of review books here. This first one here is called No Big Deal, and it's by Bethany Rutter. So this is the proof copy. And it says here, it's a debut young adult novel who Bethany Rutter is an influencer, editor, and a podcast creator. It's a warm and funny, inspiring read about a fat girl finding her footing in life, female friendship, valuing yourself, and not settling. It's for fans of Holly Bourne and Becky Obertali. And it will launch with an extensive body positivity social media campaign with collaborations with influencers and digital advertising to teens. This book actually isn't released until August. It's like the 8th of August. So yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to Kat for sending this to me from Macmillan. It sounds beautiful and, you know, body confidence is honestly what we need. So I think it's totally, totally worth the read. And the other one that I've got is Let's Call It a Doomsday by Casey Henry. And this I am reading during the month of May. This doesn't come until August either. So this is the author of Heretics Anonymous, which a lot of people absolutely loved last year. So this says here, there are many ways that the world could end. There could be a fire, a flood, or an eruption of lava. So Alice is prepared for one, and she doesn't expect meeting Hannah in a therapist's waiting room. So Hannah calls their meeting fate. Alice fears the end of the world. Hannah knows when it's going to happen. So despite Alice's overwhelming anxiety, the two girls become fast friends. So Alice tries to help Hannah decipher the details of her doomsday premonition and the search for the answers only raises more questions. So when will it happen? Who's going to believe them? Can they trust another? And how do you prefer for the end of the world when it feels like your life is just getting started? So it sounds like an awesome story of friendship and it definitely sounds like it's going to be very, very hilarious and funny so definitely keep your eyes out of this but I'm going to be reading this in May so be sure to wait to hear my thoughts on this book so massive massive thank you to Catherine Teagan Books so that's Harper 360 you awesome awesome people thank you so much one book that I got from my charity store is Gabby the little dog that had to learn to bark so this was only £1.50 from the charity shop Sue Ryder, I think it was called. Uh, this is about Barbie Kill Animal Sanctuary. is deep in the Sussex countryside. So Barbie has taken lots of animals and Gabby, which is a scruffy haired terrier, arrives on the doorstep. They are trembling, their eyes have fear in them. They don't want to play with any other dogs and they just don't, they're completely mute. So then Barbie discovers that Gabby has been kept locked indoors for their whole life and Gabby has never learned how to be an actual dog. So Barbie has fallen in love with a strange dog and is determined to help them connect with their true nature. Tragedy strikes, it's not only Gabby, but the entire animal sanctuary that is at stake. So it's actually a true story about Gabby, the rescue terrorist's journey to learn how to be a real dog and will they ever find their bark. And I think that is so cute. I love like those sort of like, real stories like based on a real story like animal stories like I think that's so cute so this is that book for £1.50 total still I had to get it so then I picked up Cersei by Madeline Miller the paperback it was in I think I got this from Sainsbury's actually had to get it and this I've been hearing fantastic things about this was actually reduced in Sainsbury's I think to like £4 so this is about 
the house of Helios, god of the sun and the mightiest of the titans, a daughter is born. Cersei is strange, not powerful or terrible like her father, she's not gorgeous like her mother, but she has a dark power of her home, which is witchcraft. So Cersei's gift threatens the gods. She's banished to the island of Aya. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. She owns her occult craft, casting spells and gathering strange herbs and taming wild beasts. A woman who stands alone cannot live in peace for long, and among her island's guests is an unexpected visitor, which is the mortal Odysseus for whom Cersei will risk everything for. Cersei's tale is a vivid epic of family rivalry, love and loss, and a song of a woman burning hot and bright in the darkness of a man's well. I've heard fantastic things about this story. So this is definitely gonna be a book that I've got to read this year because just all of the fantastic things I've heard about it. Then in Waterstones, I got Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu, the eldest Curses, book number one. This is The Red Scrolls of Magic, which is a Shadow Hunter novel. This is an exclusive to Waterstones book, but guys, it's red. So I had to get it because it's red. And I'm very, very excited about this book. It's just blue on the inside there. But yeah, I'm obviously not gonna read it yet because this is like later on in the series and I haven't read Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows or Queen of Our Darkness yet. And these books you tend to have to read in order. I just got it because it was there. And obviously, you know, limited edition because it's exclusive to Waterstones. So I had to get it. And I'm so happy that I did. So last but not least, these are the books that I got in Forbidden Planet on my two-year anniversary with my boyfriend, Ben. So yesterday, the 29th of April, 2019, was our two-year anniversary. The day that we became boyfriend and girlfriend the day that we met on a date we went on a date and we literally that's when we went out and I remember Ben asking me he messaged me and he was like I had a fantastic day and I'm really really embarrassed to ask you because I'm afraid of the answer but I was wondering if you would be my girlfriend and I just replied going yes 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 that was two years ago yesterday guys and I can even remember it now and it was a fantastic day, it was such a nice day, the weather was fantastic and I was so nervous but you know two years later can't believe like where I am now and I'm so so happy like really really happy and he, he makes me happy and that's all that matters you know. So I went to Forbidden Planet, he knows my secret love for books, he knows I do booktube and literally we walked past Forbidden Planet when we were on our way to the restaurant and he was like we will go there after the restaurant and I was just like mm -hmm. So I think this was a sign because The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman is on my May TBR but I didn't have a copy of it. It's a group book now I've got it. This was reduced, guys. So this is the Dwarven Grey. Like I said, here, pink edges. And look, £4.49. The represented price is £8.99, guys. This was a sign. I had to get it. It was on the table. Had to. So this is literally about this beast that haunts the woods. And then... I believe that these kids called Justin, May, Isaac and Harper, they are children of the founder families and they have to work together to pretty much like solve this thing that's happening because bodies are starting to appear in the woods and they need to solve the mystery. So yeah, a nice good thriller mystery and I'm really excited to read it so I'm glad that I've got a physical copy of that now. Next of all, I then picked up this beauty i had to get it this is the chilling adventures of sabrina by roberto agua sacasa and robert hack this is book number one as you can see this is the netflix poster because this is then now on netflix even says here now on netflix it's the netflix show is based on this so i'll just show you some artwork it's very orange when i was looking for it very like orange but this is kind of what the artwork looks like on the inside but i'm really really excited to give that a read because i am obsessed with this tv show i'm up to date with it now watch part one i've watched part two i love it so so much 
So it's definitely like a quirky TV show. But now I'm really, really excited to read the actual graphic novel version. So yes, this is $14.99. I'm hoping it's going to be fantastic and worth the money because I'm poor. <laughs> So let's hope it's really good. If you guys don't know the story of Sabrina, the teenage witch, she is sort of, she's born like half mortal and half witch. And Sabrina Spellman, she sort of like has to learn how to sort of go to the mortal world and be the mortal, but also like be the witch and there's the devil involved and her aunties, she lives with her aunties and her aunties are witches. She has a mortal boyfriend called Harvey and yeah, it's just sort of like how she has to learn to deal with both sides. So yeah, it's definitely really quirky. And the last book of this book haul is Assassin's Creed Trial by Fire by Del Cole McCreary Edwards and Nuns or Nunnis. And this was reduced from £10.99 to £2.99. So this was on sale. And I really like Assassin's Creed. But this is Assassin's Creed, like the female one. So yeah, so... And guys, look here. Signed. And here on the inside is the signature right there. Can you see the signature? It is right there. I got a signature box. So yeah, so an on sale signed graphic novel. And I'll show you some artwork from this one if you guys like Assassin's Creed as well. Like this one is, is really like colourful and looks so beautiful. Look at the artwork in this. I'm not normally a graphic novel person but guys I think I'm slowly getting into it. Yes, yeah, so I'm really happy. Two ninety nine, bargain, absolute steal. I hope I like it. I really, really hope I like it. And I'm hoping this one of those sort of graphic novels that I could totally read again. I was looking at Saga as well, but I'm literally on like I think volume five, and I don't own any of the copies. So I was just like, mm, I could totally buy number five, but then I was just like, mm, I can't read it. So yeah, that is the end of my April book haul. Those were all the books that I got. So let me know down below in comments if you have got any of these books or if you're excited about some of these books, especially the two books I got for review. If they sound like totally up your street, definitely pre-order them, definitely add them to your wish list, whatever. I'm hoping they're gonna be good, but I will try to read them ASAP for you guys to let you guys know what I think about them. So that's it really guys. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching my video as always. All my social media links are linked down below in the description box if you like to follow me elsewhere. Keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video.